of your own kids. <laughs> will be starting. The children will start to, to appear shortly. Well, our company is um, keep coming. Something has gone wrong on the road, I think. But I've gotten a text from him, so we should be okay.
again, uh, AD, I'm sorry for the interruption. Just a quick note. Uh, we are just filling the gym for the first concert. Uh, it is fairly full in there. We do have room for some classes to attend. Uh, so if you uh, would like to attend with your class, you can bring uh, those students down now and we will uh, fill the gym with the remaining spaces. Thank you.
settle for a bit. I'm not sure which crowd is under control. Not huh? over this one. I want, yeah. I want to welcome you to our uh, our school. My name is Darren DeGround. I'm the principal here. Uh, this is my eighth year at the school. Uh, it's a wonderful place to uh, work and be with in this community. Uh, just a couple things before we get started. First off, does anybody play piano? <laughs> We have a little, we are, we are awaiting the pianist who is rushing here as we speak. So Teresa said, I have to draw this out a little bit. So when you see the gentleman come running in and sitting at the piano, we are good to go. Uh, just a couple things that I wanted to say before we get started today. First off, I, I, mean, I am going to take the opportunity to talk a little bit very quickly about parking and pickup. If you've picked your children up, you know that it's a mess out there. And you know that in the winter, it's even more of a mess. I ask you just please be patient. If the kids can walk, have them walk. And follow the directions of the people that are out in the lane by. We are doing it all to get your kids home safe to you. So I know it's frustrating. It takes a while. Sometimes if you just wait a little bit, you'll get, you'll get out of here a lot faster. So please uh, uh, just be careful as you're uh, uh, going through the lay by. The other thing is uh, winter wear. If you have, haven't noticed, it's cold outside. Yeah. And it's cold, it'll stay cold for a while. Please ensure your kids are dressed appropriately for the weather. Obviously, we are inside probably this entire week. But if the temperature rises above golden minus 22, the children get to go outside. That's still extremely cold. So please make sure tubes, mitts, snow pants, warm uh, clothing, all of that stuff. If they don't have it, we have it in the office. We'll supply it so that they can go outside. So please make sure. Uh, you get them all bundled up. One thing that COVID was good for was that we were able to get really good at live streaming events. So we have a crew that I can't see because the lights are bright, but they are at the back and there are cameras around the gym that are uh, sending this image off to thousands across the world right now as this concert is being live streamed. So for those parents who didn't want to brave the cold, they're at home drinking coffee and hot chocolate and watching uh, their kids perform. The good news is it will be archived on the Mighty ABM YouTube channel, Mighty TV channel, and you can watch it over Christmas again and again and again. <laughs> so one last thing before I turn it over to, to Teresa, just a note about uh, concert etiquette. These kids have been working their butts off to do a great job for you guys. So a couple things we need from the audience. One. Lots of cheering and support when they're done doing a piece. You want to make sure that they get recognized. Two, make sure the cell phone is off. If you are recording, just remember there are people behind you trying to watch their children. So just make sure that you keep that, that camera down. Again, it is all on video for you to go home and watch over the holidays. All right? So with that, we're going to start, Andre can't have a question right now, no way. No. Okay. Uh, we're going to start with, I'd like to invite uh, Tristan Foote to come up. She's going to do our land acknowledgement. And then following Tristan, we will turn it over to Teresa, who is our wonderful music teacher. Tristan, do you want to come up? Come on up. I don't know if you've got a mic or not. Are you going to be able to, just, be able to see it? All right, Tristan, go ahead. Fantastic. Thank you. Let me have to sit here. <laughs> okay. Hello and welcome. Uh, thank you for coming uh, to our now daytime Christmas concerts. We've tried a new format this year for the daytime. I would appreciate uh, Darren. Well, well, uh, Mr. Degrand will probably say. No, we, I don't want you to appreciate this, but please give me your feedback 
um, about whether or not you like having the daytime concerts and no evening. I really would like to have a sense of, of if we are accommodating people or if we're cutting people out. So um, I would just, I, I would appreciate, send the, those comments to me, not to admin, because they deal with many, many of comments. So send them all my way, all right? Um, you have in front of you the grade threes and the grade fours uh, at ABM. We have four classes of each. And at the moment, we have our threes on stage and our fours are on the outer risers. This is our Christmas concert. Our accompanist has <coughs> arrived. And uh, thank you so much. <laughs> I, I knew entirely when he wasn't here, when I thought he should be here, that it was a me problem, not a him problem, because Kim is punctual, he is professional, he is everything we need in, in an accompanist, and I am so grateful to have Kim Cousineau with us on at the piano. Um, and now without further ado, um, with our opening piece, Welcome. Except that I do not have the right binder. Give me one second, my red binder, thank you. <laughs> two different concerts, two different binders.
recorders. I hit the recorder program pretty hard. If you hadn't noticed, if you have one of those students at home that loves the recorder, you probably hate me. Um, because uh, my, my students uh, who are so excited and they love to practice and the parents initially love to hear the practicing. And then I get these comments about, I'm not allowed to practice upstairs anymore. And then I get, I have to practice in the garage. And uh, so I understand parents that the soprano recorder sometimes can be a little piercing. However, what ends up happening with these children as they develop skills, and they are developing incredible skills, what they are learning in, in the recorder consort goes far and above anything you can teach in a classroom setting. So these kids that you see right there are an exceptional group of children. I have only allowed three children in who are in grade four this year. They have to prove to me that they have the proper attitude, they have the proper ability to learn music. It has nothing to do with whether or not they were musicians before they came to me. It has everything to do with attitude and behavior. And I will work with children that want to be worked with. And they will be traveling to the festival in the spring and we'll have lots of other opportunities to play. So um, I hope that if you are a parent of these youngsters, of all of them, but these youngsters as well, they, um, I give you credit for the children you are creating. Uh.
need to go back. Jujar here, who are my two children who in grade three during recorder, they tackled the recorder in a way I've never seen and they were playing equivalent to my grade six and they were just learning. So these two little boys are in the recorder consort and um, just they are, they're phenomenal and they will begin this piece and end it for us. So, watching me.
Um, I am very fortunate to have the admin I have because I like to do a lot of things with my students. So I have um, my choir coming up now. This is the senior choir. They have been asked to perform at the um, Edmonton District Night of Music. So they will be singing in the Jubilee on March 1st. So mark your calendars. There are only choirs that were asked to sing as part of this event, and this is one of the three choirs. So if you have a child in this group, um, mark the night of March 1st, because it will be a lot of fun. Tuesdays after school. We have an hour uh, rehearsal. We implemented a $60 fee this year um, because they are getting uniforms. Uh, however, the uniforms are not here yet. So they will have uniforms. We will also be traveling to the festival in the spring for competition. And uh, this is a great group of children to work with. So enjoy. We are doing two numbers. It's Bitty Bum. And we will also be doing All on a Silent Night, which is a partner song with Silent Night. Thank you. 
Are we ready? Yes. All right. Who comes in first every time? Who comes in second every time? Who comes in first on the very last one? Okay. I did that for my benefit because I always get it wrong. All right. I'll have the recorders play something.
And now, um, I'm, I'm seeing that I have time on the clock. I said that the concert would be between an hour, an hour and 15. But there's only one song left. So we're, uh, I have another student here, and his name is Carty. Um, Carty is too busy to be in the recorder consort, but he has the abilities and the proper attitude, and I would love him to be in it. And he said, I would love to join my hockey's over. And I said, I would love to have you, but in the meantime, can you learn this music? So Carty, and I gave him this music on Friday. So I would like you to see what Carty has done. Him and I will be playing a recorder duet, because I couldn't ask another student to learn more music for me. So, um, can the light cannon, if we could turn off the lights now, and we'll just have the children standing in the dark, please. Candles on, please, children. to, you know, get a light for us, because we can't read music in the dark. The question is, how does it turn on? Thank you. 
we have never rehearsed it with the piano. So that was, that was a trial by fire. Can everyone give Cardi another hand? <laughs> that, that was um, truly, um, that was truly remarkable, Cardi. Thank you. All right, threes and fours, are you ready? Okay, you were so good during that. Okay, where's your piano, sweetie? <laughs> so he was just playing. It's hard because one is 
accompanied by clouds, which kind of ruins the atmosphere. So I was clapping because if you could tell, we had a rushing problem. Being the perfectionist that I am, would you mind listening to that piece one more time so we could get it right? We're going to try to get it right. I would like, if I'm clapping, it's to get them back on track, not for us to clap along. All right, my students sitting over there. Okay, so we're going to try that one more time because the mood was not what I was wanting. So we're going to do it again. Okay, now, walking and listening hard to the piano. Okay, play as loudly as you can. <laughs> Uh, parents, can you give it up one more time for all of these wonderful performers? Thank you. And students, students, your parents came here today, braved the cold, and they are here. Give them a round of applause. Yay! 
And to our wonderful technical staff at the back who are filming right now, just hold on guys, along with our accompanists and our music teachers, please thank all of the staff involved. Thank you. Parents, we're going to get let the kids that are in, in the audience and on the stage leave. Then, parents, if you can just wait, you are welcome to go uh, say hi to your child in their homeroom if you'd like. We do have lunch in about uh, 20, 30 minutes. So, uh, you, but you got to bring them back if you're going to take them away. We have another concert at 2 o'clock for you to enjoy if you want to see it. doesn't look very professional to have all these photocopy things. Like, I have all the originals, but because I scribble all over them and I write down kids' name all the time. And, um, you know, I, I reuse some, some stuff, so it's just, for me, better to have it all in the binder of photocopy. Although, I wish, I wish I had what you Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're going to get started shortly, but in a few minutes, uh, we're going to be inviting some students to come down. So if you, you should be sitting where you want to sit because we're going to fill up real quick here. And then once we get the kids in, we'll load the stage and get going. Okay?
Good afternoon, everyone. Just one uh, last final announcement for today regarding the concerts. We are just uh, finishing the final loading of the gym uh, with parents. Uh, we now are going to allow students, classes to come down who would like to view. We've got room for about three or four uh, classes of students to view the show. If you did see the show this morning, uh, please uh, don't take up the spaces. Uh, we want to get into those classes that were not able to observe the show. If you don't get in, uh, it is available on live stream and the link is available in your email. Thank you.
Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Darren DeGrand. I'm the principal here. Welcome to our school. To those of you who were in attendance in the morning show, welcome again. You're going to hear the same uh, spiel uh, this time around. So as you can see behind me, the kids are loading up. They are very excited to perform. This is our first time performing live in uh, two years. One good thing that came from COVID is that we got really good at learning how to live stream. So right now, uh, we have a technical crew at the back, which Mr. Bishop is organizing. He is making sure that we are streaming this out to the world. So those families that were uh, smart enough to stay home today are watching at home and on their couch, drinking their coffee. They're going to enjoy it, but the good news is you too can enjoy the show over and over again. Uh, it is on the ABM Mighty TV YouTube channel. You can get the link on School Zone, click the link, and, and have hours and hours of enjoyment. And in case you don't get enough of your own child, that's okay. Can we get a xylophone clean up in the aisle four, please? Xylophone clean up in aisle four. Ms. Johnson can do a lot of things here. Uh, so a couple of things before we get started. I just want to take this quick opportunity to remind uh, families about drop-off and uh, uh, winter clothing. You know that the lay-by out front is extremely busy. We have traffic and we have traffic monitors that are trying to manage that. And when it gets cold, it gets even busier. If you could please do your best to follow the, the lead of the traffic people directing traffic and not park where you shouldn't. We will get everybody home quickly and safely at the end of the day. It's with a thousand students, it's very busy uh, getting kids in and out of here at the end of the day. Super important with this cold weather. I noticed most of the parents were dressed appropriately coming in here today. Make sure you send your kids with the proper uh, uh, dress for the cold weather. I'm sure that we're not done with this. It's probably going to happen in the, after the Christmas break. So please make sure that you uh, keep them dressed accordingly. On your way out, you're going to get a chance to actually go uh, see your kids in their classrooms at the end of the day today, but on your way out, there's a selection of lost and found items that are just outside the gym. All of that stuff gets donated at the end of this week, so if your children have lost anything, it's a good time to have a look at that. And if you'd like to do some Christmas shopping, it would be available for you to, to do so. Uh, with that said, uh, I just want to welcome all of you, uh, let you know you, we haven't had audiences in a year, uh, and just a couple things about audience etiquette. Just remember that uh, although your kid may not be performing the entire show, we ask that you try to remain for the entire show. It's really disruptive and distracting when we've got people moving in and out of the audience because their kids are done. They, everybody's going to start the show, and everybody's going to finish the show. At the end of the show, they're going to go to their classrooms, you're going to get a chance to go see them. It's always a cool moment, so stick around and do that. Please make sure you have your cell phones turned off, at least the ringers off. I know lots of you will be filming. Remember, it is available on live stream, but there are people behind you. So as you uh, are filming, just make sure that you keep the camera so that it's not uh, blocking anyone's view. And lastly, washrooms, they are outside, go to the, the right, and then to the left, just down the hall, if there's an emergent situation. So, these students behind me have been working really hard preparing to show you a wonderful uh, concert. So please make sure you give them lots of response, lots of applause when they're up there. The only thing that they've been missing is you. And that's why they're doing this, it's for you guys. So we look forward to an amazing concert. Did Tristan...
sitting over there. Uh, I think you have amazing children. They have to have a very, a very dedicated attitude to be working in that group. We work at actually quite a high level, something that um, is not typical amongst elementary school children. So I commend the children that are here, and clearly they came from some parents that need some commending as well. Uh, moving on, our grade threes are going to sing for us. Ring the bells.
over to this side. And my small group moving over to this side.
they're coming. There they are. All right. to have everything running in a professional capacity to the, even though it's, we're doing the very best we can. This group in front of you, we rehearse after school on Tuesdays and we work pretty hard. Um, I love this group of children. They are wonderful to work with and they really, really like singing, which just makes a music teacher's heart grow three sizes. This, um, it, they are in grade four, five, and six, and they are auditioned. So every single one of these children had to go through a process of auditioning for me. I had about 120 children want to get in. I selected 66. Some are missing today, but this is, this is uh, who is healthy today.
now you are going to hear the grade four set. So the fours will be on their way back in um, the staggered entrance. So in order to cover the time that takes, my recorder group is now going to play Good King Wenceslas. So here we go, children. strong singers here. These are the 4-2s and the 4-4s, um, Mrs. Del Favreau's class and uh, Mrs. Zorniak's class. Because they are so strong and able to sing independently, they were given a few, well, one extra piece than the rest of the kids. Thank you. 
audience, do not observe what is going on on stage right now. It needs to be a surprise. up here get to play over and over and over and over and over again the same sequence of notes and they get to go hark how the bells sweet silver bells all seem to say the road cares the way the problem is we have a rushing issue so what we say to ourselves as we play is what children Okay. 
going to help conduct. So if you can go over to that sign, please. Yeah. Because we're just having trouble keeping the pulse. And I've discovered now that we do need a sound system because the children do create more sound than what you're hearing right now. And so the, the gym just does not do justice to what the children are producing. That will be rectified next year. However, we go forth with, with um, courage. So, children, on that side, you are watching. Eyes peeled over here. Children on this side, eyes peeled on me. Got it? Okay. Candlelight can.
That was amazing, you guys. Much better. Awesome job. So, we got some thank yous to do today. First off, audience, would you thank these great kids of yours one more time? Thank you. You guys may not know this, but you have the best parents in the world, and they braved the cold to get here. You better give them some applause. Nice and loud applause. Awesome. And two more people that are two more things to talk about. Uh, one is our technical crew who are doing the live stream along with our, our accompanist uh, and other people that were responsible for setting things up. Please give them a round of applause. Finally, the teacher that throws me more curveballs than Nolan Ryan. Uh, we have to thank the best music teacher in the division. Uh, please give a big round of applause to Ms. Johnson. And with that said, uh, we are almost at the end of the day. Parents, if you would like to, what we're going to do is we're going to dismiss the kids. The, the students that are in the audience will leave first. Parents, if you can just stay. This morning, your group got a little confused with that one. We're going to let the kids behind you out first. Then these kids are going to leave, and they're going to go to their homerooms. If you'd like to go to their homerooms and pick them up a little early, my Christmas gift to you is you can take them home early today. Please.